anything which has gone down in price a lot is potentially a source of opportunity. Uh, but the question is, has it declined sufficiently relative to reality? So if, if, uh, if, if a price was, if a stock was efficiently fairly priced five years ago at X, fair, today the stock is down half. But in some sense, reality is also down half, then the stock is only fairly priced. Lower in price, but not cheaper. Uh, so it's, it's the, it, you know, what, what the investor has to do is weigh out on the one hand price and the other hand reality. And so, you know, look, everybody thinks very dire thoughts about Europe and the Euro. And I would be the last person in the world to argue against that position. Um, but, uh, and then the, the next question is, okay, European assets are lower in price because of the conditions, uh, macro conditions, but are the macro conditions being viewed too pessimistically? And the answer is, how do you know? Are you, go back to second level thinking, are you, a, are you, are you capable of thinking better different and better about the fate of Europe? <clears throat> I don't think so. I don't think I can. I don't think anybody really has a good handle on what's going to happen in Europe. So then how can gaming the Europe situation give you an edge? You can't, if you don't have control over something, superior insight, I don't see control in the sense of being able to make it work, but if you don't have superior insight, then how can something be a, 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 your, to your advantage. And uh, so, uh, you know, we don't, one of the tenets of our philosophy, you name number one, which is risk control, number five is we don't bet on macro forecasts. Uh, and I think it's very hard to consistently be above average in correctness with regard to the macro. Uh, 